I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know who I am, I'm Deborah, and this is Deborah's Journey. So before I get started with the video, it is 1.17 in the morning. Um, I just got back home. I went to my mom's house for the day. She opened up her pool. Um, I was going to go in, but I didn't go into the pool. Um, then I after I left her house around 10 o'clock at night, I ended up going to Walmart and at Walmart, there was a lot of people that I knew. I used to work in that Walmart that I went to, so a lot of people were catching up with me and we were talking, so we talked about for about an hour. So I spent my time, an hour and a half at Walmart. So I left Walmart about 11.30 at night and now I'm home and um, no, Walmart is not two hours away. I ended up having to stop at my fiance's job. He forgot a few things in the car that he needed for work. So I had to stop by his job to give him those items. So I just got home from doing that. And so why I went to Walmart was because I've got a few groceries uh, for this video. I was originally gonna film the whole going to get the groceries, but since I knew I was gonna run into people, I didn't film that part. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. So first step, first thing is this. I needed Cool Whip for it, for the um, recipe that I'm making. Um, like I told you, I'm making a trifle. Um, I forgot what exactly it was called, but it is a keto trifle. Um, I needed some strawberries for it, so I got some strawberries. I already have strawberries in the fridge, but I use those strawberries for myself to eat throughout the week. This is just like, I'm going to be making this trifle thing because I've been craving some jello lately and this recipe takes jello and i love myself some fruit i crave fruit all pregnancy so that is why i want to make this um, i got four of these strawberry jellos i usually like to do different flavors but because i'm doing sugar-free flavors um they don't really they didn't really have many choices at walmart um so this is what i had to get i usually get the blueberry one the blueberry sugar-free one and then and the strawberry sugar-free one but all they had was the strawberry today so i brought four of these jellos oh by the way this was in all this for everything i brought i spent 40 bucks it was like 39 63 i believe in all so i'll tell you everything if I remember the price, I'll tell you. They these strawberries were $1.67. Um, the cool whip was I believe a dollar ninety-seven. I'm not sure. Um actually I might have a receipt in here. So it's been $39.47. And so the these jellos, each of these were 98 cents each. I got the strawberries were $1.67 and the Cool Whip was, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find it. So the Cool Whip was $1.84. Then I got these jello puddings two of them the vanilla ones i don't know whether i would need two of them i might not only need one but i got two just in case 
the the price of these were a dollar twenty eight each. And then I got blueberries, which were two fifty eight for these blueberries. These clear cups, two dollars and four cents for these. A pack of fifty. And then I got um, cream of tartar. The reason I got this is because usually I would buy my own, um, what is it called? An angel food cake. Um, the angel food cake. Usually I would buy it. But they did obviously have it. But I'm trying to do the keto version and they didn't have the sugar free one. Like a uh, stop and shop usually has the sugar free one, but they didn't have the sugar free one at all. Um, at sh stop and shop too, because I was going to end up picking it up tomorrow, but they said that they were out of stock. So I looked up a recipe, um, that had the sugar free angel food cake and I'm going to be making it from scratch. So the recipe needed some cream of tartar. So I got this for $2.78, which is a good price because at um, Stop and Shop, it was saying that was like $5, over $5. And then also for that recipe, I will need some, I don't know if I say this right, so don't roast me, just say in the comments if I'm saying it right or wrong and give me corrections. Um, it's Anthem Gum, I believe that's how you say it. I'm guessing that the X is silent, so it's Anthem Gum. But I got this, it's very tiny. It has like only this much in it, like this and down. Um, I got this for $5.97. And then I got also for the recipe i also had a lot of other it takes more ingredients but i have those ingredients already at home so i didn't really need it but i got also for the recipe it called for some coconut flour so i got some coconut flour and this is actually a pretty big bag for four dollars and 98 cents and then I got these because me and my fiance both want to try these. So on my cheat day, I'm going to try these. Maybe I'll try them for you guys. If you guys want to see me do a cheat day, comment that down below because I will be more than welcome to do a cheat day for you. But yes, I got these biscuit roll-ups, sausage, egg, and cheese. Um, it's an eight count. And I spent... Let me look. I spent five dollars and sixty-four cents for these. And also I got these hot pockets. Also, we we do want to try these as well. It's the five count, the applewood, bacon, egg, and cheese, croissant, crust. Um, we like Hot Pockets over here, um, so I'm willing to try this. I hope it's good, but yeah, we got these, and they were $5 for these. So that is it for my food haul. I spent $39.47. Put everything away. I'm going to head to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for part two of this video. I'm going to be making the trifle and I'll show you guys doing so. I'm back. Good morning. It is 10.45. So I'm going to start preparing the jello because the jello is going to have to sit in the fridge for about three hours. So I'm going to start preparing the jello. I'm going to be boiling or getting some hot water from my coffee maker. I need four cups of boiling water because I'm going to do all four packs of these. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. Um, 
this is how the only way you can set it up if you hear it, the coffee maker going off. I'm just going, getting the boiled water right now. And I'm going to be taking the packets and putting all four of them in this thing because that's all I have right now. Let's do that. So, yes, I look a little rough right now because. Um, I didn't yet get dressed for the day. I'll be doing that after I finish doing all this. I will be taking a shower and then I have a doctor's appointment to go to. So I'll be going to that doctor's appointment and then that's when I'll be coming home to finish this. So I poured it in all the hot water. I'm just waiting for one more cup. And I'm stirring it. I pretty much got all of the um, pieces out. Like the uh, powder all dissolved. So pretty much I'm just waiting for the fourth cup. And yeah, that's all. And then I'm going to be pouring the cold water in. I apologize again for the lighting. But now I got my cold water. I've got to do four cups of cold water and pretty much just stir it around again. And then I'm gonna be putting it in the refrigerator. This is cup two. Here's cup three. So this is what it looks like. It's filled like this much. So now I'm just gonna put the lid on it and throw it inside the refrigerator for three to four hours or when I get back from my doctor's appointment. I'm back and it's 4.35. So I have decided that I'm not going to be doing the angel food cake to incorporate it inside of the recipe because really it's not really truly needed. Um, maybe some other time I'll show you guys making the angel food cake on its own or with this whole recipe again. But as of now, I've decided not to do it because it's good. this recipe is good without it and it's already late and I just decided that I don't really care for the angel food cake anyway. So I'm going to be starting the jello, the vanilla jello um, pudding. So I don't know whether I should do one of the boxes or two of the boxes, but I think I'm going to start off with just the one box. And then if it's not enough, I'll do the second box. But I think this should be perfectly fine because now that I'm not doing the angel food cake, each of them are gonna get take more of the strawberry jello than than before. So um, I'm about to pour the packet inside of the bowl. Now I have my measuring cup, it's the one cup, and I know my hair is a little messy. It just, it, it is what it is today. This one cup and I'm going to do three cups of milk and then I'm going to whisk the pudding. three cups. Now I'm just going to whisk it. It says whisk for about two minutes and then it will get thick, but I'm just going to whisk until I see it getting thick because I'm not going to sit here and set a timer for two minutes when I could just see it from my own point of view. So now that I have it done and it is a pudding consistency, I'm going to be cutting my strawberries. 
I already washed them off before I put them in the fridge and I washed them off when I took them out. But before anybody says anything, I've washed them. So um, I'm going to be cutting them up into small pieces and putting it into- I didn't get that. Could you try again? Siri's always trying to listen to me. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna be putting, cutting them in small pieces and putting them into this bowl right here, about this small. These pieces are about these, this small. So now that everything is done, I have my cups right here. The strawberries are cut up. I have my washed blueberries right here. I have the Cool Whip and I have the Jello. Oops, I just opened it. The Jello is all done. And I also have the pudding completed. So now that I have my knife, I'm going to cut the jello into small like square like pieces i know i can't really show you guys i'm not really showing you guys how i'm doing this but i apologize i am working on getting a mount that will help me show you guys what I'm doing but look I you can't really see it but I've cut it into lines and now I'm about to cut them this way into squares to make a square so I apologize for the view and I know my lighting is not that great also I would like to mention it's okay for you guys to comment in my video on down below and tell me what you guys would like to see from me. I am 100% fine with that. Um, I also would like you guys to tell me how you like the videos down below and what you guys would like to see from me. Um, and if you don't like the video, I'm totally okay with honesty. Uh, just rude comments. I'm not okay with i will be deleting any rude comments that i feel that is rude but honesty is more than welcome to be commented underneath my video so after i cut them into squares i took the spoon and i started moving them around so that you could see more of the squares so that when i do insert them into my mini cups i it's easier that way so now I have some cups prepared, some cups laid out. So I'll be showing you. So for step one, I'm going to be taking the jello, some jello, and inserting it into the cup. Probably should have gotten a bigger spoon for this. So, like that. That's what it looks like. And then I'm going to take some strawberries, or actually I'm gonna do the blueberries first. I'm gonna sprinkle some blueberries on top of that. And then I'm going to be taking some pudding. I'm putting the pudding down. a little bit more pudding and then I'm going to take some of the strawberries and put them on top then I'm going to take some more jello and place that on top of it Now that is set, I'm going to take a scoop 
of the Cool Whip and insert that on top. You can do as much Cool Whip as you would like. This is probably not the spoon to be using. I should have gotten like an ice cream scooper so it's easier to come out. So I'll be right back. I'll go get an ice cream scooper. I got this ice cream scooper. I'm not gonna put that much whip, uh, cool whip on top of this, but um, I'll put a little bit like so, and then I'll place it inside. And I'll take the same spoon that I used before to spread it out like this. And then I'm going to add a little bit more blueberries on top and a little bit of strawberries on top. And that's what it looks like. So uh, that's plain and simple. So I'll be back when the, I'm almost done to show you the completed look of all of them. I finished making all of them. I made 12 of them. It was, the whole recipe was good for 12. This is what it looks like. I already showed you guys. That's the strawberries and the blueberries on top. We'll be tasting it for you guys. I'll just take this one. This one looks pretty good. It's good. I mean, it's pretty much just jello and pudding mixed together. If you never had put jello and pudding mixed together, that's what it tastes like. But this is literally what it is, and it tastes good to me. So, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know if you want to see the one where I do it with the angel food cake. Let me know if you want to see me bake more, cook more, do more vlogs. Let me know what you like to see from me. Um, maybe some challenges, maybe some pranks. Give me some prank ideas. I'm willing to do some prank ideas on my boyfriend. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And... You know, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, most importantly, don't forget to end your day with a smile. Bye, guys. You don't care. You're on the way. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air like a blazing flare.